Hi guys, it's Tom Daly here and welcome back to another one of my diving lessons. Ta-da! Okay, so today's lesson is all about dive numbers. Lots of you are going to be wondering what on earth I'm talking about when I say dive numbers, but each dive is represented by a number. We have a code for each dive. So if I was to start saying 109C, 5255B, 307C, 207, people are going to be like, what on earth are you talking about? But each one of those was a dive. I think I listed off about four dives then. So today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how it works. The basic dives are the easiest ones to understand. So for example, each one is either a three or four digit number plus a letter on the end of it. For forward, inward, backward, and reverse spinning dives, number one represents forward, number two represents backward, number three represents reverse, and number four represents inward. So the easiest way to sort out those dives are, you had the direction, which is represented by one, two, three, and four, then a zero, and then the number of half somersaults. For example, one, forward, zero, and then three would be forward, zero, one, two, three half somersaults, so one and a half. So it would be one, zero, three is a forward one and a half somersault. Once we have the hang of that, it's basically direction, zero, number of half somersaults. And then we have to choose which shape and which position we're gonna be doing it in. So for example, A is straight, B is piked, C is tucked, and D is free position, which is normally just used for dives where it's just twists and not that many somersaults. Where it gets a little bit more complicated, I hear you're saying more complicated, that was already complicated enough. Anyway, where it's more complicated is when we add the twists and the handstands. So for twist, is represented by number five. Once we have the number five, which represents and shows that it's a twist, it then goes to the direction of the dive. So for example, it's just, which are the same ones as before. So forward, backward, reverse, and inward, one, two, three, and four. So we have a number five, the direction, and then we have the number of half somersaults and then the number of half twists. So for example, if I was to say five, two, five, five, that would be, twisting backwards, two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists. And that is how you work out your dive numbers. Then it goes on to arm stand. So arm stand is represented by a six, and then you have the direction in which you're spinning. So for example, six, two, six would be arm stand, backward, triple somersault. We normally do these in whole somersaults because you start on your hands and you finish on your hands, which means that there hasn't been an odd number of half somersaults performed. So you always do it in single, double or triple. Now, if you want to get extra complicated, you add twists into your handstand. So then it would be arm stand direction backwards, for example, two, and then four double somersault and three, one and a half twists. So a six, two, four, three would be a back, back arm stand backwards, double somersault, one and a half twists. And I know that seems really complicated, but it's one of those things that you have to get used to as a diver. And if you learn your dive numbers, you go into a competition and no matter what country you're in, no matter what language they're speaking, it always will have those dive numbers on the screen. So my challenge to you guys would be to see if you can write the dive numbers of the dives that I perform in my diving competitions. And if you can write them in the comments below, I'll be amazed if you can get them right. So hopefully this diving lessons has, has helped a little bit. And if it, you know, if you need to rewind back a little bit and see how it works again, do it. You know, we'll get there. And then you'll be able to see no matter where you are in the world, you'll be able to understand dive numbers. So we have arm stand, backwards, triple somersault, piked. Forward, three and a half somersaults, with one twist. An inward, three and a half somersaults, tucked. Forward, four and a half somersaults, tuck. Backward, three and a half somersaults, piked. 
and reverse three and a half somersaults tuck. So, if you can write all of those dive numbers down underneath in the comments below, I will be very impressed. Now I'm about to reveal the answers, so if you don't wanna cheat, pause now and then come back to it later and I'll tell you the answers, okay? Are you pausing? Or are you gonna answer it? Are you gonna cheat? Okay, well, okay. Answers gonna be revealed now. So, my first dive was an arm stand back triple somersault pike. So, arm stand, six, backwards, two, triple, six, piked, which is a B. So a six, two, six, B. My second dive was a twisting forward three and a half with one twist. So twisting, which means five, forward, which means one, three and a half, which means seven, and then two, which means one twist. My third dive is an inward three and a half. So inward, zero, three and a half somersaults. That's a seven. So 407 and it's tuck, so it's a C. The next dive after that is a forward four and a half somersaults tuck. So forward, one, then a zero, and then half somersaults, nine. So 109 C is a forward four and a half somersaults tuck. My fifth dive is a back three and a half somersaults pike, so backwards, which is two, then a zero, and then number of half somersaults, seven, because we're doing three and a half somersaults, so seven half somersaults. Two, zero, seven, B. That's a back three and a half pike. And then my last dive is a reverse three and a half somersaults tuck. So reverse is a three, then a zero, then number of half somersaults for three and a half, is seven, so 307 C. I'm gonna be very impressed if any of you got those right and any of you understand what I was going on about then, but if you can understand dive numbers, you are well on your way to becoming the ultimate diving fan. Let me know in the comments how you got on with the dive numbers and if there's anything else within diving that you want to understand because I can try and help you understand a little bit more if I'm ever capable of, you know, explaining. Because sometimes diving is quite complicated and it is hard to understand, and I get it. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know if I, you were able to understand what I was trying to actually explain. And if you subscribe, I'll see you next time when we dive into <laughs> my next diving lesson. I don't know if anyone knows what they're looking for, what they're looking at when they're watching diving, or how it's scored, or how it works, or anything like that. But I thought today I'd give you a diamond